Hey everybody, welcome back to Allie's Voice. I'm Allison Lovebeady and I'm having a lot of fun reading this um, article that Nick Trueboy um, of Diabetes Health Magazine put out a, um, a great little blip. Um, he, his article asks, is it really diabetes if you don't have complications? Um, Nick was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in 1963 and it um, apparently it was shortly after he had the mumps. I was diagnosed in 1985 shortly after I had the chicken pox and I think if you went out and just surveyed people that have type 1 diabetes it usually occurs after some kind of a, um, a vaccination like measles, mumps, rubella or um, you know they have chicken pox or something that really sort of was in, in inflammatory event going on in their body so it's an interesting um, correlation but maybe I'll, I'll do that some other time but so as I'm reading um, Nick's article which is great it got a lot of response too um, you know some people are unhappy because you know he's saying you know here I am I mean 1963 he's had he's had type 1 a very long time and he's like you know what I don't even think of myself as being you know, a person with diabetes, it's just kind of somebody who has high blood sugars every once in a while. And I, I had to answer because I truly believe that most people, when they were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, if they had the opportunity to be on natural insulin shortly after they were diagnosed, I believe it actually gives their body a chance to preserve their ability to make insulin, even if it's just squeezing out a very little amount. It gives them the chance to produce C-peptide, which even though there is, un, it's unlikely, I can't make an umbrella statement, but it's unlikely that from the day of diagnosis till, you know, till the very day you're walking around, that your blood sugars are always between 80 and 120. We all know. This is, you know, you're constantly fighting chasing blood sugars. You can think you've done everything right in the book and wake up with a blood sugar of 300 and be like... Where's it coming from? I totally check my blood sugar, and this shouldn't be happening. So, whatever. Fast forward. I'm trying to give Nick an answer as to why he's he's been blessed. He was blessed because he had a natural opportunity to control blood sugars up front. And what I mean by that is he used bovine or porcine insulin early on in his diagnosis. And yes, there are people that, you know, were put on genetically modified insulins from day one, like me, and, um, you know, I can't squeeze out C-peptide no matter how hard I try. It's real hard, you know, 300 bucks a month bringing in NPH and, and regular. It's, you know, the pig kind from Volcart in the UK. It's, um, you know, it's still not giving my body a chance to resurrect. So, you know, I, I guess it's kind of like retrospect for me, but here's my point. Uh, so I went looking for some of these patents on some of the genetically modified insulins that Novo and Lilly and, and Aventus sell and, and I'm reading through these and I feel like I'm, I'm searching through H&M buckets for clothing because it's like mixed and matching, um, there's compromising disulfide bonds, there's extraction of C-peptides. So this is crazy. I feel like I'm, I'm reading a mad scientist book here. Like there's little things. I mean you really, it's entertaining to go through and read some of this stuff because it's so, it's haphazard the way it's written because it's haphazard the way it's made. There's even, you know, up in the very beginning, they're, they're basically saying there's some problems with what we think we've got going on here. And you know what? Some of these problems have manifested in anecdotal and empirical evidence nowadays. And this has got to stop. Oh boy, take a deep breath, Allie, bring it to center. Okay, um, wow. I really, I would love to see what anybody else out there who's a scientist, give me your perspective on this stuff. And what on earth is this labeled as? Because clearly it should not be called human insulin. It's not. It's extracted and extrapolated and folded and mixed and matched in so many different ways. This is not insulin, just like the imitation crab meat in the grocery store. We know it's not crab meat, but at least it says imitation on the package. Come on, guys. Fess up. Where's the C-peptide? Lily hasn't called me back yet. I'm still waiting. All right. It's, it's Thanksgiving week. I hope everybody had a great one. Um, please, subscribe to Allie'sVoice.com. Follow me. I know what. I'm Loony ideas all the time, but I'm just, I'm just looking for answers here. Join me next time. Bye, guys.